so hi everyone today we will be talking about a very exciting mcp server tutorial that is multi file rack system so in this case we are not handling just one data set but multiple data set using a single rag tool yes you heard it right so let me show you first of all the rag mcp server that i have created for myself and here you can see that there are three tools present with it retrieve one one retrieve one two and retrieve one three and all these three retrieval functions retrieval tools are handling different files so let me demonstrate you that tell me about the city of zekar kaki so why i'm using such a difficult name because i just wish claude not to use its own knowledge so i'm using an imaginary town and i have fed the same data set to my rack systems so here you can see that it has started it is using the tool retrieve one one as you can see here and it should be able to soon fetch out results for us so at the background for the rack system i am using olama so i am using a uh, nomic embedding from olama alongside quent 2.5 model in my local system hence it might take some time because local inferencing is a little slower so once i am able to demonstrate you how the different tool works how claude is able to distinguish between different data sets i would be showing you the entire code and how to get started also i assume that you have viewed my previous video on rag mcp server so it's more of an extension of that and i might not be explaining all the details that i've already explained in that tutorial so let's wait for a while by the time our answer comes in so for now i have created three file systems and i'm using three tools within rag to retrieve from three different data sets that i have created for now all the three data sets are .txt files but you can use other file formats as well be it pdfs be it csv etc also now as you can see our output is here Zekarkaki is a village located in the mountainous country of Olboi, nestled between ancient oak forests and wind winding rivers. So this is reading from a text file that I've already fed to my rack system, and this is the tool retrieve one one that was called in this case. Now let me ask it another question that uses another file system. Tell me the story of construction man. In short. so the other story is about construction man so again this is also fictional uh, just don't uh, like go with the names this is done so that it doesn't it do require to call out the tool here you can see that it is able to use a second tool within a rag mcp that is retrieve one two about construction man so the first one was retrieve one one as you can see the next one is retrieve one two and now claude is able to handle multiple files on its own without my intervention using rag mcp server for multiple files the third file that i have attached i might not be running it for now here you can see that we have got an output for construction man this is coming from my txt file that i have added as you can read here construction man was originally named bob smith a mild mannered construction worker and here it is able to give an output for that uh, so this is how the multi file rag mcp server works i am not trying out the third system you can try it on your own so let's jump on to the codes i am skipping a few parts that i've already explained in my previous video on rag mcp server so do watch it out the link is in the comment section below so the major file that i'm using here is server.py and i'm using mcp the python package for creating this custom mcp server so this is not uh, available on github for now this is a custom mcp server that i have created very very easy so as you can see here i am creating an mcp object using fast mcp embeddings and models are taken from olama as you can see and this is the important part quite easy i am creating a rag functionality creating a rag qa chain for different files so first rag1 is dummy.txt rag2 is dummy2.txt 
and rag3 is dummy3.txt and creating a QA chain for that. I have already explained all these codes in my previous videos on rag or beat lang chain. So I would assume that you already know how a rag system is coded out. Now coming to the crux of the entire thing, I am creating three tools out of this QA chains. One is retrieve11, retrieve12 and retrieve13 and using a decorator at the rate mcp.tool as you can see here qa.run prompt qa2.run and qa3.run so in all these three mcp tools different qa chains are getting called which handles different files so if you can check out my previous video on rag mcp server this entire file is a part of a uv project that i have initiated uv init rag let me show you the files so once you do a uh, uv init rag it creates a folder like this and some important files are getting included after that i am creating a server.py file which has all the codes for mcp tool that i just demonstrated you and the txt files are also present there only as you can see here dummy dummy2 dummy3 once done once you are initiating this uh, rag folder using uv you need to add all the packages that are getting used in this server.py file. So I have customly added MCP, Langchain, Langchain, Olama, Langchain, Community, all. You can check it out in my previous video on how to do it too. Once you are done, we are doing nothing. We will just go to change the config of MCP servers in cloud. So go to files, go to settings, go to developer part. And here you can see the rag is visible. Go to edit config and change Claude's config. So here we are doing nothing. Just give a name to your custom MCP. I am giving it rag. Command is UV. So I am giving full path of UV. So how to get that? Where UV? You need to run in your CMD. Arguments are directory. And the full path of the rag folder that we have initiated using UV. So if you have any doubts coming in just check out the previous video it's just an extension of that run server.py where the all the codes for rag are present once you are done you just need to go to your task manager and cloud completely don't do just across it doesn't get closed so you need to close it from task manager and then restart it and you should be able to see the rag mcp server as you are seeing in my screen with three tools that is rag retrieve one two retrieve one one retrieve one three you can do many customizations here this is just an idea on how to extend the custom rag mcp server to multiple files thank you so much i hope you try this out